All right, so anyways, we are back at the compound. Uh, <laughs> you, well, obviously you already know about. We we've uh, we went to the track uh, this last weekend, and we um, by we I mean really <laughs> more so me uh, had the catastrophic failure, and now we're gonna just get to tearing it down. Yeah, getting yeah. the engine out, and then so then we can figure out what. Uh, what is wrong with it and see what we can salvage on it. What's your guess? What happened? So More than likely a bearing yes. failure now. Now, rod or crank? It will be, it'll be crank. Crank? Crank. Ah, dang, good. I was gonna go with crank as well. <clears throat> Let us know what you think your uh, guess is in the comments of uh, what the failure is. Uh, and later in the video, we'll get the engine apart and we'll see who's right. Um, so, I guess we gotta get to work, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It's not gonna pull itself? Yes, I don't <laughs> think so.
So anyways, uh, you missed a ton. Uh, I need to really get another battery for this camera. So it died before we got the engine out. It really didn't charge up till after we had already removed it because there's really not that much to the process. But uh, we were able to then go and um, go get bolts to mount up the engine to the new stand that we had purchased. And uh, we're gonna work on starting to tear apart the engine and seeing what we can make out of both of the setups. Hopefully salvage both of them, but at least one for sure uh, in the most cost-effective way possible. That would be to not put any more money into either of them, you know. So anyways, that's uh, that's the next bit there. I don't know if you have any more to put into it, but. Uh, so yeah, here's, obviously this is the one that just came out of it. It's the, I thought the lowest mileage. Um, the one next to it is the one that came, originally came out of the engine and should be matching. Um, it is the one that should be hydro locked. Um, I believe we're probably gonna find some uh, bent rods in that one. Uh, going back to this, we're next step is we need to tear it down, see what's going on with it. So, like we said before, whoever uh, whoever comments first on what the failure is, um, let's uh, let's shoot you a, get your info and we'll uh, get you a T-shirt or something. So, um, yeah. So comment below what you think the actual failure is. What if it's crank bearings, rod bearings, rod or uh, piston rings, whatever you think it is, what failed, what locked it up. Let us know. Guess who's back? Yeah, back again. Anyways, Ken's back. Tell some man. Um, we're gonna start working on tearing down our engines to see what we can make out of both of them. Um, we're hoping to kind of be just, you know, gaskets into making a running engine again so we can kind of recoup some costs from this, from this project. That's a strange sound. Um, so anyways, that's, I guess that's basically the deal here. I don't know how I'm going to, to, uh, put this in a, in a segment, but we have two bad engines and you know we got one waterlogged and one engine star or one, uh, oil starvation on the other one. One Frank logged. Frank logged. So we're just gonna go from there and show you some clips and show you the carnage and we'll get right to it. Hell yeah. This is what the noise was. Oh, it's that thing on the front there. Oh, Dad, is this okay?
So if you are working on these, taking these off, and most of this engine, it's pretty much glued on by silicone. So you just kind of, kind of make sure that all the bolts are out of it, which I didn't not after I found one. But it just takes a lot of banging. Tap, but tap, tap, tap. It eventually will come off, and you can see the glue there. <sighs> I'd like to think that's not because water got in there. Yeah. I guess it could have been. Created enough pressure. So we're here shooting the shit, eh? Yeah. Scott Land. Hi. The uh, main guy. I know the, nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. He only knows what we tell him. That's correct. That's what uh, Uncle Clint would say. Right. Looks like a mess. So what did we find out? So we got one bent rod. One bent rod. And you can tell too by the side profile. Hard to kind of tell on the camera there. And then the main kind of the main culprit. There you go. So anyways, that wraps up the video of the engine teardown, the original engine teardown. We're gonna be working on uh, tearing apart the uh, locked up engine in the next episode. So I hope to see you guys at the next one. See ya.